It's time for the half hour to health with Dr. Bob and Debbie DeMaria. Call a friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and informative program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob Anthony and Kason DeMaria once again with a half off health just for you. And tonight, we are going to talk about the number one medication for kids 21 years and younger. Do you know what the number one medication prescribed is? Asthma medication. We're going to talk about lung health. And see, Dr. Bob, as a chiropractor, why are you guys talking about lungs for? Well, I also have a degree in natural health. And Dr. Anthony and Dr. Kaysen have extensive training in what we call motion-specific subluxation correction. Here's what's going on. Many, many, many years ago, I had a patient family that came into our office. And we started the procedure with the mom. And the mom responded to care. Her mom responded to care. So she happened to have a daughter that was in the fourth grade at this, that, that time. The daughter now teaches and is in her late 20s. So this is a long time ago. The mom called up to my office and said, I'm on the way to the emergency room. My daughter's having an asthma attack, and I know if Dr. Bob is not able to see her, she'll be in the hospital for a week. Now, I already did the exam on her. We already did the assessment. We had just not taken the time for their schedule to do a report of the findings. So I told the mom to bring the little girl in, which she did. We went over her films, and I gave her a spinal adjustment. Her asthma attack stopped. She did not need to go to the emergency room. Her brother was recently in our office. He's a teacher going for his PhD at a local school we're at in Northern Ohio. And he brought that up to me that he'll never forget how his sister responded. It impacted him almost 20 years ago. So what I want you to gather where we're coming from is, is that your spine you want to hold that for me, Dr. Casey? Sure. Just hold it just like that. So the vertebra here from your spine affect the nerves that go to your lungs. So if you have a chronic cough at home and you have poor posture, it affects your lung integrity. So I'm going to take it 20 years. I recently had a patient come into the office. She's 50-ish years old. She was very concerned. Now listen to what I'm going to share. Her mom was diagnosed with COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And I read it's starting to be one of the leading causes of death in America today. She was concerned because her mom had reduced in size four to five inches. And because her mom reduced in size, what I'm holding in my hand right now is a sponge, which we're using as a visual for a lung. Because her mom reduced in size, her lungs compressed. And because of that, lung compressing, her mom could not get oxygen in her body, started to have Alzheimer's symptoms. Because of that one fact alone, the drugless doctors invested in a spirometer. Say, so what's a spirometer? A spirometer is a way for us to assess lung health, and Dr. Anthony is going to share with you how we have seen people who smoke, yada, 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 all have impaired lung function. And then I'm going to share one other thought with you. Dr. Anthony. So this piece of equipment called a spirometer helps to measure lung capacity. So it involves some breathing instructions when we do this test in the office. But what ends up happening is we're able to see what the total capacity of lung volume is and how fast you can get it out. And through the sophisticated computer that's inside the spirometer, we're able to tell based on your age, your height and your weight and your test value, what the age of your lungs could be. So we have had patients that we have done this test on and they were smokers, and I say they were smokers because it revealed to them how important their lung age really is and if they wanted to spend another day on this planet, 
that they better start making changes. So it's not just smokers, but also it has to do with poor posture. And you can say, well, poor posture, you know, well, why would that make a difference? I want you to do is when we're all done with this segment or on a commercial, I want you to go and go to your bathroom and have somebody point out and take a picture of you while you're looking at yourself in the mirror. And you'll see that your ear should be even with the center of your shoulder. And we're seeing an epidemic of Americans that their heads are coming forward from the rest of their body. And when your head's forward, that posture can significantly affect the function of your lungs. So we've been able, with the spirometer, to show how people's lung function can improve over time by getting spinal adjustments in the office. And why that is significant is because when people come to see us, we are, like Dr. Bob said, we are trained in finding vertebral subluxation, which is a fancy term for saying an interference that is stopping your body from functioning at 100%. And, by, and when we work on correcting those subluxations, your body heals itself like it was intended to because there isn't an interference. And then we're able to show that pre-post, whether it be on your x-ray films or on a spirometer test, how lung function improves through being at our office. So we recently had a young gentleman that wanted to get into the military and he was afraid that he wouldn't be get, able to get into the military because he had a past history of asthma. So we did the breathing function test with him and the breathing test was able to help show that this young man was misdiagnosed with asthma and through a series of spinal adjustments working with his nervous system, he has not had to take a breathing treatment since being in our office. And that is extremely significant for a young man that wants to become in the military and is destined to do that. So. It just not affects people that are smoking. It can affect people in their teens or young children that have COPD or any other condition. So it has been a huge eye opener for everybody that's been able to participate with the spirometer. So one of the things that also is significant is that we've had 22 or 23 year old individuals come into our office that do smoke and they have a lung age of 106. So I can tell you also, now this is going to be just really listen. We have had moms come into their office with their children and the moms smoke in the car. That's child abuse as far as I'm concerned. We had this one young boy, 12 years old. We did his long age and wasn't it 60? 64. Mm -hmm. He was 64 years old because his mom was smoking in the car with him. So, did you know that we Im improve lung function? So I don't care if you smoke or if you don't smoke, by helping improve posture. So if you've never had your lungs checked for the age, once again, wherever you're at, anywhere in the world, all you have to do is come to CLE and just look up the drug list doctors and a part of our assessment, we'll be happy to, if you let us know that you're having a lung issue, we will make sure that that is done for you. Okay, so we have so much to talk about. Dr. Kaysen, do you have some thoughts here that you want to pass on? I was just thinking too, uh, even if you think that maybe you haven't had a lung problem, but maybe um, trouble taking a deep breath, chronic cough, even maybe some snoring or sleep apnea, or when you're walking upstairs, trouble breathing, all of those are symptoms of a lung dysfunction. I know specifically we've been seeing a lot of people that have been exposed to vapors or fumes or environmental toxins. Um, painters, construction, people working at um, bigger companies, dealing with car parts, all of those things that can affect and impact your lungs. So even if you maybe have been exposed when you were a child or in a, your teens working, um, that all, your body never forgets. So that would be just a great tool for us to see how your lungs are functioning along with your posture. And we can really help to make a difference in your life and in your family's life. So I'll tell you, what I'm holding in my hand right now is this is a miniature ionic breeze. In the directions for the ionic breeze, they will tell you not to burn a candle in the room that the ionic breeze is located because the synthetic chemicals will 
line the plates that are in the ionic threes, it'll make it dysfunctional. So I'm going to share with you, some of you may have received gifts from well-meaning family members that they have purchased at craft stores or what restaurants. Scented candles should be only burnt outside because the chemicals in the candle themselves, you're going to breathe in. So I'm going to share something with you also that is so significant. So what I have in my hand right now, this is a water purifier. We have this, this is a shower purifier. So in our home where we're living at the current time, we use a cold water vaporizer to put water particles in the air because it's easier to breathe, especially when the weather is colder outside. So I learned something. I have a large ionic breeze in our home. So we started to do the water vaporizer, and I noticed within two days, all the plates on the ionic breeze were covered with a white substance. I thought, what? What is going on here? So what it is, is the chlorine in the tap water, when became vaporized, went into the air, and the ionic breeze, see chlorine is a, is a charged particle, and the ionic breeze attracted that particle to the plates, and it covered the plates with a white coating. And the outside, and actually the chair that was next to the ionic breeze had a white coating on it also. So I say, well, Dr. Bob, what exactly are you saying to me? Dr. Kaysen said something that was so important that we're having painters and factory workers come into our office. We have one gentleman right now that was diagnosed with mesothelioma from asbestos and he had chronic digestive distress, came into our office because he watched us on this program and we started to do spinal adjustments to him and his symptoms are better now. But going back to the chlorine in the air, there are vapors and toxins everywhere that you're being exposed to. You can say, well, Dr. Bob, it doesn't sound good. It's not good. It's not good because we're living in a very toxic environment today. So this is the liver. The liver is located right here. The liver is the major detoxifier in your body. So if you have all of these chemicals that you're breathing in, you better make sure that your liver is functioning good also. Because see, your liver is a part of this whole system that we're talking to talk to you about. And so this is one big mass of physiology. So if you have a lung issue and nobody has been helping you, just like Dr. Anthony talked about that young man, you need to make that call today. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DeMaria and I'd like to invite you to come into our office. We are here to make a difference for you. You know, I've been on this program for over 10 years right now and I know that we have patients that come to see us from all over the state of Ohio. Why? Because they want answers to their problems. Have you been suffering needlessly? Do you have pain? Are you depressed? Do you have regular bowel movements? Are you having issues breathing? You know, we have a spirometer in our office right now that we can actually tell you the age of your lungs. We do motion specific x-rays. We can take specific films of your spine to find out exactly what's going on inside of your body. We'll listen to you. We'll write down the information that you have. We'll take the appropriate and necessary films to find out exactly where your misalignment is in your spine and help correct your spinal function so you'll operate, operate at peak performance. You know, I've been really blessed. I've written seven books. And Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones is actually number one on Amazon for female hormonal health. And also Dr. Bob's Men's Health, The Basics. As an author and a researcher, we have learned exactly what we need to do to make a difference in your life. We will do blood tests if necessary, saliva testing, mineral tissue analysis. We have the ability to do electronic biocommunication. We are at the cutting edge. We're at the precipice of what it is needed to do to find out exactly what's going on inside of each and every one of you. We love kids. We love all ages. Our goal is to find out to get to the exact root cause of your problem. I'd love for you to come into the office. We are very passionate. I know you've been watching us for years and years and years. We're here to make a difference for you. 
Dr. Anthony and Dr. Kaysen have been a huge part of our team. People love our staff. They just thoroughly enjoy. Give our office a call today. I promise you, you'll be glad you did. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Anthony, and Casey and Maria once again with a half an hour health just for you. And we've been talking about lungs, and I'll tell you what, this is a very sobering program right now because lung health is critically important. It affects our economy because people take sick time off because of lungs and COPD. And, you know, if you smoke, and I don't even need to go there with smoking, but people who smoke, they always have health challenges. I have found from my experience that people who smoke heal slowly. See, smoking takes vitamin C out of the body. It takes minerals out of the body. I want to share a little nugget with you. What I have just noticed over time, if you have a child or yourself have a chronic lung problem, first, always have vitamin D tested. I've had chronic bronchitis go away just by supplementing vitamin D. You can say, Dr. Bob, what is vitamin D after breathing? See, vitamin D helps take calcium from the intestines and puts it in the blood. Calcium helps the integrity of tissues. So if I have a child that really is having a major lung problem, <clears throat> I may encourage the mom to get some calcium lactate or citrate and grind it up, maybe two or three tablets, and put it in water and have the child drink the calcium citrate or lactate that's in the water. It's just one of those remedies that we have found over time that has really worked well. But, you know, there are certain foods like dairy and citrus that Dr. Kaysen is going to talk about that they're not bad foods, but they could be your issue. Something that we're really seeing with kids in our office is people who consume a lot of dairy. Kids love, a lot of kids love milk and cereal and cheese and pizza and all these things that promote inflammation in their bodies. So if they're consuming milk or dairy products on a daily basis, their body is creating inflammation and they're expressing themselves by having breathing problems or coughs due to the inflammation in their body. So we don't promote dairy in our office, but instead of dairy, we promote almond milk or unsweetened coconut milk instead because that doesn't produce inflammation in the body. Another thing that we're finding is that kids love citrus fruits, so oranges, even uh, lemons, limes, all things like that, they can um, actually cause just problems with breathing and inflammation in the body. And you should never consume a citrus unless it is above 50, 60, 60 degrees. 60 degrees. So a lot of kids are addicted to, to oranges and things like that because of the sugar, but that could also be contributing to their breathing problems. So when people come into our office, we, we just do a diet analysis on them. And I can tell you, just from history and talking to people, citrus, because I know that right now that you are told you need to take your citrus because of the vitamin C. Well, I'm going to give you a, a, another logical source of vitamin C. It's red, yellow, or orange bell peppers have just as much or more vitamin C in them than citrus does. And if you're going to really do citrus, you should be living in Florida right now, have an organic citrus tree in your backyard and pick it and then eat it because I've read this information that they pick oranges premature and then they spray them with nitrous oxide and it goes from green to orange. You know you guys when you really start putting all this together it's a wonder as a human species that we're still on the planet. Dr. Anthony. One of the things that people are passionately addicted to, and it doesn't have to just be this particular brand, is peanut butter. And one of the reasons why we don't promote peanut butter is because the peanuts and this type of legume has mold on them. So you could be a chronic peanut butter eater and have issues in your lungs because of the mold that's coming from the peanut butter. So it's not that we say that it's a bad thing to eat. We just don't promote it because we'd rather see you put something in your body that's gonna promote healthy function that's in your body. Also, another thing that really could be detracting from your overall lung health and the health of your entire body is stress. Stress can be detrimental to your breathing patterns. There are a lot of people that will come in and they'll see us and they're under stress and they don't have proper breathing patterns because of the stress that's going on in their life. So I would encourage you to adopt some deep breathing practices. So as a simple way, you could do it on the couch right now as you're watching me, but you could take a deep breath in for a count of five, 
hold that breath for a count of five, exhale for a count of five, and then let nothing happen for a count of five before you do the whole process over again. This is a simple way of helping to decrease stress and increase the amount of oxygen that's going through your body. One of the techniques that I used to use when I was in school um, studying for all of our chiropractic classes and national boards was to do some deep breathing before each of my exams. And you say, well, why, why'd you do that, doctor? And I was like, because I know that if I got the proper amount of oxygen that I needed to my brain, that I would be able to think clearly so that I could answer the test questions exactly how I needed them. And I was the valedictorian of my chiropractic class, so it works. That's really tremendous. I'll tell you, these little techniques that make all the difference in the world, I want to take it right back to what makes our practice so unique, is that this is a circuit breaker. So we know, because we've been talking about this, that posture impairs function. Actually, posture itself is awesome, but if you have altered postures, like the whole COPD, it impairs the capacity of your lungs to expand. If you have misalignment in your spine, which is like that uh, breaker going off, it impairs the electrical information from your brain down the spinal cord to those organs and tissues in your body. Now, I know that many of you don't smoke cigarettes. If I have somebody comes into the office and they have a chronic lung problem and they don't smoke, it usually happens to be because of sugar, because sugar causes inflammation in the body. And I'm telling you, I see that happen over and over and over again. And something else that we see that happens in the body is that I'm wearing these sunglasses now because if bright light bothers your eyes, if you go outside and you sneeze because of the sunshine, if you have large pupils, if you like to eat sugar, and if you eat sugar, if bright light bothers your eyes, I have found even more often that you'll have a problem with citrus because of what Dr. Kaysen said, the sugar in it, it impacts your pH in your body also. So when we start tying all this together, it is huge how what we do as chiropractors, as natural drugless doctors, so it's not just about taking a pill or a potion. You want to improve posture. You want to improve what you're consuming. So instead of having peanut butter, have almond butter. If you're stressed, go for a walk. Now, another thought that we pass on to our patients on a regular basis is purchasing one of those large exercise balls, about a 55 centimeter ball. Fill that ball up with air and then start laying backwards on it and maybe get a weight, a five or 10 pound weight, and then extend it over your arms and start working on your posture because see, Gravity never takes a vacation. Gravity is continually and relentlessly pushing down on top of you. Then you compound it with your smartphones and your laptops and your video games. And like Dr. Anthony said, your head's going forward. So when this segment is over, if it's on the internet and you're watching us, stop it. Have somebody get their camera phone or a digital camera and you stand up straight, as straight as you can, close your eyes, take your head back and forth and look straight ahead. Have them click a picture of you. Then stand at your side and have them take another picture of you. And if your ear is not on top of your shoulder, you could have impaired function. You know, you should measure your height on a regular basis. Because I mentioned at the beginning of the program, and Dr. Anthony was explaining to you about the spirometer, is that you will shrink over time. And if you're noticing that you shrunk two or three inches, these sponges are the lungs in your body and those lungs are going to be compressed because